Hello, Kate here, MyNaturalHappiness.com, uh, creator of the Seeds of Change program to help you go from hamster wheel to happiness, founder of Shine Your Light, Goddess, Shine Your Light, the boot camp, helping you shed the shackles of the past so that you can step forward and shine your light brightly in this world. Sending you a huge hug of love. How are you? How have you been? How's your week been? Have you had a magical, magical, magical time? Are you enjoying settling into a bit of routine after the summer? Um, are you missing the summer days? How are you doing? Uh, make sure for me, I, I really appreciate having time off and I also so really appreciate a little bit of routine um, and being self-employed I create my own routines which I'm very grateful for and it is nice to just get back in the swing of things and seeing clients and just having magical times I'm just very blessed uh, and yeah so a bit of a mixture for me so oh my goodness oh my goodness so many beautiful incredible goddesses signing up to our a free goddess day yeah i'm so grateful if you're one of the people that have signed up i'm so grateful i'm so looking forward to sharing uh magic in it and a beautiful day with you if you're feeling a little bit run down a little bit like oh, you know please know it's a safe space and that you can show up as you are, please know uh, it's a mag going to be a magical day. And okay, not quite sure if you've got the energy, but you're 50 50. Come, come, feel into your heart. Um, and it is going to be a magical day, it's going to be a safe space for you to be you exactly as you are, whether you're happy, sad, wherever you're at. Uh, it's just going to be a magical time. So, if it's speaking to you, come join us. If you, it's the first time that you've been heard about this, um, where have you been? <laughs> or welcome to watching these videos, whichever one it is. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so, on the 27th of November, we are having a group in person uh, goddess retreat in Avebury in the centre of the Stone Circle. It's going to be magical. So it's on the 27th of November uh, in Avebury Stone Circle. Uh, and the early bird price is available until the 30th of September. So if it's speaking to you, come join us. Oh. So exciting to see who signs up it's so exciting every time i get a message i'm like oh they're joining us oh she's coming oh, it's just magical so yes if it's resonating come join anyways aside from that um as always i pulled out a card for you for watching this video and or listening to this podcast thank you if you're listening to this podcast and um the uh, deck that drew me today is Archangel Messages for a New Earth by the beautiful Ashlyn Mooney. And the card that we got is Archangel Raziel. Clear out old patterns and start afresh. How powerful can that be sometimes? Think about the aftermath of a storm. Oh my goodness, we've had some incredible storms here. Uh, after all the drought, the storms that we've had here have been incredible. Anyway, so think about the aftermath of a storm when everything has settled down. And although there is destruction, there's also a relief that it's over. and We can now restart and rebuild again. Life may feel like a storm is passing through and you may not be able to see the light right now. Your angels are reassuring you that everything is happening for you, for you, and not to you, as you may feel. The magical phrase, this too shall pass, will help you cherish the good times and trust that when times feel not so good, that they shall too pass and peace and equilibrium will always be restored. Take a breath, come back into your heart, feel your essence moving down into your belly and into your feet. Just be here now and do what you can 
in the moment that you are in right now. Ask your angels to support you through this and ask for signs that they are listening and supporting you. And I think this card is a sign that they are listening and supporting you. Clear out old passion patterns and start afresh. And that's a really powerful thing to do at this time of year is to just have a look and think, right, OK, what is serving me in my lifestyle? And what isn't serving me? What needs a change or a shift up? Sometimes we can be doing the same thing day in and day out because it's what we were told years ago was good for us. And actually, it isn't. It can be good for others and not so necessarily good for you. And it's about feeling into what habits and patterns are working for you and honouring your soul and what habits and patterns aren't working for you and aren't honouring your soul um, and it, it's personal and they can shift as well one thing I've realised is that they can shift according to the time of year according to um, your energy levels and your age and where you're at um, so having a, a reflection as to your patterns and where you you are in your life right now can be really powerful. I'll give an example of a pattern that shifts every year for me. <laughs> and that is that I like going out for a daily walk. I work from home. I see my clients via the magic of the Internet. So wherever you are in the world, you can become a client. Um, and so I, I see the my clients as find the magic of the internet and if I don't mindfully leave the house every single day I don't leave the house and there are some days where it's tipping it down with rain and I'm not going anywhere and um, and you know on the most of the days I try and find a time where I can leave the house and see see the world <laughs> see the world and get dressed it's very easy sometimes I have pj days that's okay but and it's very easy not to leave the house for days on end unless I mindfully do it um because I can always sit in my garden for fresh air anyways so during the summer I go out for a walk at the end of the day and it's a nice way for me to transition from work life to home life uh, and so I will usually finish work and go for a beautiful beautiful walk and it will just help me unwind as we approach into the uh, that pattern doesn't work for me because it's dark by the time I finish work. It's dark. <laughs> and so that pattern doesn't uh, work. And so as we approach the shorter days, it starts shifting into a lunchtime walk because it's the only time I can walk. And in the very darkest days, it tends to sort of shift into a before I start work uh, walk because it's just too dark <laughs> you know when it gets dark at half three there there isn't a lot of time to go out for a walk and so that's a pattern that shifts according to the time of year and we can have a a pattern that shifts according to our our life where we are right now not where we were 10 years ago when we might have created that pattern i have gone off on a tangent haven't i and that's what spirit was telling me to say clear out pa old patterns and chart start afresh what old patterns have you been following because they were good for you 10 years ago and can you shift them up that's the nutshell going off on one there anyways so the other card that i pulled out for you I hope that's giving you some food for thought. Uh, the other card that I pulled out for you is uh, from my deck of oracle cards. And uh, we have, I, st I, still, I still have a moment, oh, as I gently throw them on the floor, shall we say, for those watching the, uh, uh, listening on the podcast. I still have a moment where I go, wow, I created a deck of oracle cards. Anyway, we have being, being. Who are you at the core? What are your values? In times of strife, it's good to check in and see who you are at the core. Come back to that and simply be. And as always, those two cards pulled out with angels and guides have uh, definitely, definitely synchronised beautifully once again. And so those are your two cards for the week. For watching this video or listening to this podcast. I hope that they speak to you and uh, 
it's just certainly speaking to me. There's been a few patterns that I've noticed that used to serve me that have don't no longer does serve me. Um, and that's been really powerful of late, really powerful for late. And I hope that I've given you some food for thought. If you want any support to go deeper with this, that's what I do. Um, if you want support getting out the hamster wheel of what it is that you've always done into the happiness that is you and the happiness that is what you want in this life, not what somebody told you you should want 10 years ago, 15 years ago. That's that's the Seeds of Change programme. Uh, and uh, Shine Your Light, Goddess Shine Your Light, the boot camp is just a magical container uh, to help you shed the shackles of the past, both this life and previous lives, um, so that you can shine your light brightly as well. So if that's speaking to you, come join us. Uh, and also, we've got somebody at the door. Uh, and also, I'm just going to wave one minute. <laughs> um, uh, and also the Avery day if that is calling you then please do calm step into the space with us and just have the most magical time sending you a huge hug of love but have a magical 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 day with so much love kate my natural happiness.com creator of the seeds of change program to help you go from hand to shore of happiness i've just said all of that have a magical week Mwah. lots of love take care